So welcome, Dr. Lucas. It's an honor to have you. You've studied psychoanalysis for many, many years, yes. and you've trained many people in psychoanalysis through the Institute for Modern Psychoanalysis and now through the School for Training and Effective Psychoanalysis. Right. And uh, I think my first question would be, um, how did it all start? Well, uh, how did, what part of it uh, are you interested in? Okay, your interest in psychoanalysis. Oh, well, um, I studied a number of things first, and then uh, I met uh, Hyman Spotnitz, and uh, Dr. Hyman Spotnitz uh, thought that I should study uh, modern psychoanalysis, uh, or psychoanalysis anyway, and uh, I took a course with him at NYU after I, uh, at, uh, and I got acquainted with him then, and uh, I found him to be most unusual person. He, I found him to be absolutely different than any previous teacher uh, that I had ever had before. He was, um, uh, he, he never, uh, he, he never caused uh, a person in his class any anxiety or uh, a criticism. He never gave them any criticism. He didn't do anything of a negative nature to anybody who was in his class. I found so many of the teachers were difficult uh, to learn from, uh, even though I was interested in learning from many of them. And uh, I found that on several occasions, especially when I was taking a course at uh, NYU in uh, psychology, I found that uh, people uh, argued with things that I said, and I, uh, uh, pointed out to them at that time that what I was saying was absolutely correct and uh, they were not, and they got annoyed uh, that I should point these things out to them. But Hyman Spotnitz was not like that, so that was a very unusual experience for me and uh, I wanted to uh, be as much uh, capable of being beneficial to future students that I might have uh, as he was with me. That was a very important uh, purpose that I had in mind. And uh, sure enough, when, uh, when I was brought into the a new school situation with him, he brought me along and uh, uh, I found that uh, using what I had learned from him as far as being beneficial to my students, I found that my students enjoyed learning with me. Uh, they uh, progressed very rapidly as a result of the learning methods that I was taught by him. And uh, I contributed, I continued to uh, work in that vein for quite a while, even afterwards when I left the first school that he brought me to, uh, and I taught there for several re years as a uh, member of the staff. Uh, later on, I went and taught in another school, and again, the students liked my way of teaching very much, and uh, because I found that his method was the best method I had studied. Yes, what was ahead. his method that you learned that was the best? Well, his method was never to find fault with a student. Uh, if, if there was some problem that a student had with him in any way, he would investigate it with them uh, and find out what their objection was to what he was saying and uh, he would try to find out uh, where they got uh, their attitude and approach. 
and uh, he had one student in there who was very, very antagonistic. Uh, but he managed eventually uh, to get him to uh, talk in a different way in that classroom with him for the whole semester, finally. And uh, he, uh, I, I was able to trace this person's program afterwards when he taught in a different place and I found out that he was teaching quite differently. He went back to his old method because he had been educated in a more um, accusatory and dictatorial approach. So I, I found that uh, if you want to help people to learn the best possible way, the methods of, of being gentle, considerate, and investigatory with a difficult patient in the school was to investigate what their problem was with yourself as a teacher, uh, primarily. And that seemed to me to work very, very well. So would you say that that's a primary um, uh, principle that you go with in your work with your patients is to investigate? Yes, I work with my patients to the best of my ability in exactly that way. Now it's true that occasionally you get some obnoxious person in your classroom, uh, but if you keep working with them in the way in which I was taught and the way in which I continue to work, uh, I find that sooner or later the person begins to want to behave uh, and be treated the way uh, I was taught to treat people as uh, being the teacher and then being the student. And it, it, uh, uh, it, wherever I work, and I've taught in a number of different places under certain circumstances, and it always worked out very nicely for me. So it sounded like Dr. Spotnitz had a lot of respect for people. Yes, he and did. He had a lot of respect for people, and he didn't see that there was any benefit in uh, being damaging to anybody, criticizing them or uh, denigrating them. Uh, and I saw him do that in, in, uh, down in Texas on a, where he actually worked with a gigantic population and he handled them all superbly. And I used that as uh, my method as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so in your um, teaching uh, of students here, you've been doing that for many, many years. Yes, first I have through been. the uh, Institute for Modern Psychoanalysis. Right. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, what were your, what was special about your program? What would you say? Well, I don't think my program was special. Uh, people wanted to learn how to work with uh, patients, and my job was to help them learn. Uh, what they wanted to teach and to teach it in the same beneficial way toward the patients. If the patients were treated gently and with due respect and t t uh, by investigating what their handicaps were, then they became more capable of working with patients. And I think that that's a very good way of working, yeah. And I've enjoyed uh, my training with you for, for many, many years. So oh. I wanted to say that. that uh, oh, thank you for, if it, for recognizing that. If you find any method that is that has more benefits in it, I would like to learn from you as well. Oh, thank you very much. If you subscribe to the channel, then you will receive all the videos automatically uh, uploaded to your channel. And any comments will be appreciated. Um, I always use the comments to review the videos that I do and make corrections in them, so please feel free to comment. And again, thank you. I'm Dr. Mark Sell, and this is Dr. Jerry Lucas, and we're going to uh, sign off for today. So thank you very much for listening.